everyone, I'm Steve here with Brian again. Brian's in, oh, see that? I, I, I like you, you know? What you do can't you like? get rid of me, bro. Yeah, you, you, you made this face like, oh man, I gotta talk to you again? I was just getting ready to bail, but I'll tell you what, for you, Steve, and for all our followers, I'll stick around for this conversation. All right. Okay. I had to get your little remark in, I know. So I, I'm going to talk about something that I talk about often, and that's fitness influencers trying to sell you stuff. And Brian, you said it in our last video, this stuff that I'm uh, affiliated with, I use it. Or right, right. I'm not going to be affiliated with a company that I don't believe in. I'm not. Right, right. Um, but I, I, I don't know. I think a lot of these influencers, I don't know. There's a guy, I can't even remember his name. I can't, I, I, I try to imitate him, but I can't do it. He's like, you guys are eating too much. Calories in, calories out. You're fat. Stop eating. Do some cardio. <laughs> Look, <laughs> maybe, <laughs> but don't judge people. You know, and, and here's your problem. You need to buy my cookbook. Now, now, if he saw this, he'd know who he is. And maybe he'd, maybe he'd get on my channel and rip into me. He likes to rip into other people. So that'd be great if he ripped into me because blow up my channel, you know. So, well, for, but my point is you got to be careful with um, products out there. And I got a bad attitude because I've been doing this for a long, long time and testing stuff on me for probably 50 years, you, you know, since I mowed lawns and went and bought a vitamin or something I, at 10 years old. Um, but I don't know. So because of that, I have a bad attitude. I admit it. My bias is everyone's a lying crackhead. And that's how they start off with me. I don't believe anything. I'll test it. I'll try it. I'll use the knowledge that I've learned to see if maybe I agree enough to even try it. But maybe I will try it. Maybe I won't. You know, the, uh, the theory of you're eating too much, calories in, calories out, it's, there's so much more to it than that. First off, of when these guys are out there selling their own product, that is very different than the affiliations we have because we're using somebody else's products and we just appreciate what they do and therefore we put the information out saying, hey guys, we've tried this stuff and this is what works for us. Go give it a shot. We're not trying to peddle Steve's cookbook. You know, calories in versus calories out. I, I have these conversations regularly with my uh, clients. And, uh, you know, I think, I think you have to truly measure because people will be told, you know, sometimes, well, I heard I need to be on a 1200 calorie diet, or I heard, you know, somebody told me I need to stay under 1800 calories, things of this nature. Um, a lot of times what I find out when people believe in and buy into just purely the idea of calorie in versus calorie out, they're not measuring calories burned per day. So, you, you know, first thing you have to do to define what your calorie intake is, is you have to know what you're burning. You know, the average person, you can just Google this. Go, uh, uh, if you're a 30-year-old male adult or a 30-year-old female adult, just Google what's the average calories burned per day and put nothing else in there. It's going to tell you, boop, it'll pop up. You're going to burn 1300 calories a day, just doing your regular job and, and hanging out. Well, let's incorporate what that really means. Are they talking about you've went to spin class and then went and lifted weights that day? If they do that, are we now talking about, well, that's another six to 800 calories in that 24 hour period you might've burned. Well, if you're sitting on a low calorie diet, and you've burned extra calories because you believe in the calorie in versus calorie out, and you don't supplement that caloric, caloric loss, what's going to happen to your muscular build? What's going to happen to your body? Is your body going to help you burn more fat? If you're at a 
10% body fat and you're trying to get ready for a show, is that going to help you? If you're at 47% body fat and you need to burn calories, could you get away with it? Well, you really have to start considering all the other factors in this when you're looking at calories in versus calorie out. The conversations I have is, let's define how many calories you burn per day. Let's also define, and a lot of these people can do it off their phones and their watches. Let's define how many calories you burned in the workout you did with me. Now you went out and played pickleball for an hour with your husband or wife. Well, how many calories did you burn in that session? Okay, well, now we want to define how many calories um, we did when we went out for a walk with the dog. Or, you know, after work, we went and worked on a home project and laid tile for 45 minutes. All of this is a caloric burn that is different beyond what's going on. So when these people are shooting these theories at you, your caloric intake has to be measured based on what you're burning. So it's not as simple as quit eating, stick to a 1,200 calorie diet, stick to a 1,500 calorie diet. And I would venture to say for a lot of people that buy into those theories, a lot of the times I would suggest they might be under calorie and their body's not operating at its optimum level because they're not taking in enough. Yes, if you're at a 200 calorie deficit every day, I would think you're losing weight. But if you're at a 1,000 calorie deficit every day because of all the physical activity and other things you're doing and you're buying into, I got to try to drop as much weight as I can, you might stop the, the, uh, the fat burn. Your body might hold on to everything it's, it needs just to keep you alive. So really be careful with this stuff and don't buy into the hype. Yeah. Uh, it's so hard who to listen to out there. And what I do is I just relate, here's what I did. Here's what happened. Um, and because everyone's different, I say that till I'm blue in the face, but, um, it's true. And, uh, I say, look, what about, there's people out there that can eat 1400 calories and they're gaining weight. Well, it's not because they're eating too much. And then I get excuse. I mean, I've had people say, hey, Steve, you're not helping those people that are obese or, or fat because I'm giving them an excuse. Well, there's kind of a point there. If you eat 1,200 calories and you're gaining weight, it's not my fault. It has to be your fault. And it's for sure your responsibility if that's happening to you. What is, what about it is your responsibility? Well, it's your body. You got to figure out what's wrong. All I'm saying is eating less is not going to work. If you're eating 1200 calories and it's not working, eating even less is certainly not going to work. Well, and those people that drop under, under that, some of the things that happens to your body, it completely changes how it operates. So if you're calorically low, look out. You know, um, I think it's so important to define what you're burning before you choose how many calories to eat in the day. You need to speak to your medical professionals on for safety purposes for you based on any medical conditions you have and what caloric level they want you to be in to get a caloric deficit designed for you for weight loss, if that's what your goal is. Because we can talk to some of these significant weightlifting people, and it's nothing for them to have an 8,000-calorie diet because they're trying to do something completely different, and they're gaining weight, but they may not necessarily be gaining fat. Huh, why is that? You know, you really have to look at this, know for yourself, talk to the experts, not just somebody peddling some kind of product that they put together for themselves. Yeah. And I always recommend go listen to a lot of experts. There's a lot of experts out there that I appreciate and I appreciate their content, but they disagree with each other and they contradict each other all the time. But that's because everyone's different and everyone has their own biases and they've tried their own things and they've looked at different research so, you know, I changed my mind. I, I've, I don't know how many times I've changed my mind from the time I was 20 until the time I'm over 60 now because my body's changed and I've changed my mind all along the way and rightfully so. So all I'm saying is um, get lots of information and don't just listen to one person and think that one person is God because... Uh, everyone's different. That is fact. Gather the information. Understand you. 
All right, everybody, that's Brian Sanchez in Carson City at our studio at Fitness for 10. Thanks for being with us, Brian. Thanks, Steve. Have a great week, everybody.